Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me out, make sure to subscribe. Now enjoy the video. Come in. Hey, little feather. Come on, sit down. Well, I called you in here today to tell you how much I'm proud of you. Yeah, you've been doing quite a good job with the whole uh, spy thing. We got lots of information, and we've also been prepping for said attacks and whatnot. And with recent attacks that happened, they even get close to the wall. So yeah, I'm here to congratulate you and tell you that I'm proud. <laughs> well, of course. I mean, I'm the one that trained you, so I would hope you get some good sense into you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes down to it, you're a great spy. I'm glad you've chose this mission for yourself as one of your first missions. It's showing off the great potential you could have. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, when it comes to missions afterwards, this, you're not going to really be a spy no more. You're going to be more of an upfront hero trying to help the others. Because I know your uh, quirk here is more uh, helpful when it comes to upfront healing, and also protection. Yeah, but being a spy for us, for the LOV, and uh, bringing back the information here, you helped out quite a lot. In short, I'm proud of what you've done. Mm-hmm. Oh, some of the other students uh, who are now pro-heroes, I need to stop calling them students. It's a real, uh, it's like the first thing that comes to my mind. You're not students no more, you're heroes. So I gotta call you heroes now instead of students. But yeah, the heroes of this academy have been doing great as well. Some of them are doing patrols, some of them are watching over the wall at night, and when the daybreak comes, they get replaced, yada, yada, yada. They're doing great for each other. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad y'all are getting along well in these dorms and whatnot. Yes, some of the uh, take-ins from like the city and whatnot have been destroyed. They're also living here as well, but luckily we have enough food, water electricity, to sustain everything. And when it comes down to it, you you guys, you, you heroes, are really the foundation of this place. You're really helping us pro heroes out. Mm-hmm. Speaking of pro heroes, Azawa made a full recovery, although he did lose a foot, but we have a mechanic foot working up for him, and it works out just fine. Mm-hmm. He's fully recovered, so you might see him more often. And Endeavor is doing quite well himself. He's recovered from all his wounds and whatnot. He, you'll see him walking around because he decided to go for the more patrol type of jobs so he can heal a little bit more before he gets out into the field work again. Best Genius is also in the patrol field with him. So don't worry about those guys. They're all right. Oh, come on. You really think that my wounds are going to stop me? I'm like a phoenix. Whatever breaks me down, I can just rebuild faster than you can say on a monopoeia. 
I know, bad example. It's a long word, but you you get what I mean. <laughs> All in all, I'm just here to say that I'm proud of you. You've shown yourself as a true hero. And I'm really proud of what I've made you. And I'm pretty sure Endeavor would say the same. He is proud of you. He's just not really vocal about it. Yeah. But besides all the lovey-dovey crap, I didn't actually call you in here for, like, a new mission or anything like that. Yeah. I called you in here because I need help. Yeah, I need help. You see, besides being a hero and whatnot, I have this modeling gig that I do. You've seen me on magazines and, like, convenience stores and whatever. Yeah, that's me. I do model work. And I was wondering if you can help me out with a new outfit I'm trying to work on. You see, I have it on right now, but I feel like something is, like, missing here. Like, I got the jacket, I got the shirt, the pants look good. The shoes, I think that's what's throwing this outfit off, is the shoes. Yeah, I could throw on a decent pair of designer shoes, but I want something to just pop out, like, that whole outfit in general. Hmm. You know, I never really thought about that. I always seen you guys with, like, decent clothing on yourselves, some of which are not even designer, and, well, I think it looks pretty good on some of y'all, but I haven't really asked any of the other people to help me out with designs or even borrowing some clothing. I mean, as a pro hero myself, asking you guys for... Clothing seems like a, you know, like a cheap thing, you know? Well, I mean, when you put it like that, I have helped you guys out quite a lot, and, well, when it comes down to it, it'd be like a gift of some sort, if you can put it like that. Although I'm not one to ask for hand-me-downs or anything like that. I just want to, you know, stand out in the magazine covers. Mm-hmm. I could ask Izuku for some of his shoes. I mean, he always wears those red shoes or some black boots or whatever. So I could always go up to him and ask for something. He's always generous about everything he has. Yeah, I know, but he's still resting from all that uh, hero work he's been doing outside of the walls. And also, just trying to protect the city the best he can with all his quirks, powers, and whatnot. So I don't really want to bother him because, well, he deserves the rest. Uh, yeah, Saro does have some interesting tastes when it comes to fashion. I could probably ask him for a few tips. The girls, well, my fashion sense is more based on male uh, audiences, but I can ask the girls for a little bit of help. Maybe they can help with my eyeliner or something. <laughs> but yeah, I could probably ask either Zuku or Sarah for some... Uh, you know, f fashion help. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, if you have something, I mean, I wouldn't mind borrowing it. Of course, I would give it back. Because, well, I'm not a thief. Maybe a jacket or two. Just to see what goes on with the outfit I have on right now. And after that, after all the photo shoots and whatnot, which might take just a little bit, like maybe three days, I'll give it right back to y'all. And don't worry, I'm not going to forget about it. I have a good memory. 
All right, cool, cool, cool. Thank you, little feather. I appreciate it very much. I'm keeping my job and my other job up on their feet. <laughs> of course, I'll let you know. And I'll also let you know about any other missions that I need you to get on to. Mm-hmm. All right, you're dismissed, little feather. Go back to whatever you were doing. I'll see you later. Ciao.